Hey guys, Amber Marshall here. It is a beautiful day in the foothills and I just wanted to show you yeah, where I am today. last time, we're trying to film a series here. Let's go. I'm so Rolling. Amber. Okay, Amber. I, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I better go, but um, guess what? You can check out season 18 in the fall. Heartland fans, we woke up to an amazing week. It turns out that there are only a couple of weeks left until Heartland blesses our screens once again. And yes, I have all the information you need in a single video. So let's dive in. Here is great news. Season 18 is wrapping up filming in Alberta, Canada by August 28, 2024, as per the Directors Guild of Canada. Back in May 2024, it was announced that season 18 would hit Canadian TV screens by late October 2024, with a US release following in early 2025. And last week, it was confirmed that Heartland season 18 will officially be released on October 6th on CBS, but it will be available on September 29th on CBC Gem. Of course, these will be available for Canada only, but still, it is something. Like, this means that the US audience will get the new season a few months later, and there is a high chance that Netflix will get the new season on the platform even before that, making it available to the entire world. Either way, season 18 is finally here, and I cannot wait to review it for you guys. Are you as excited as I am? Let me know in the comments below. And here's a fun tidbit. On July 15th, the show hosted its famous Fan Extras Day, where around a thousand fans from all over the world joined in for a special rodeo scene shot in Millerville. The episode, directed by Michelle Morgan, who's also our beloved Lou Fleming, is part of season 18 and will be the fifth episode. This is Michelle's second time directing on Fan Day. She loves the fans' enthusiasm, but directing them has its challenges. They're super excited to be there, which makes them really well-behaved on set. Sometimes a little too well-behaved, Michelle shared. They follow instructions perfectly, which can make the crowd scenes look a bit too perfect. Real crowds are more unpredictable. You'll have people chatting, drinking, or just chilling. Do you like Michelle's directing style? Let me know in the comments. Now, while we don't have an official synopsis for season 18 yet, we do have some juicy hints. The season 17 finale saw Shane and Chloe, played by Sam Duke and Catherine Crane, finally tie the knot a huge moment for these longtime characters. But season 18 is going to shake things up. Shane and Chloe are leaving the quiet ranch life behind and heading to the big city of Philadelphia to start their married life. Will you miss Shane and Chloe in the series? Can't wait to hear your thoughts about them. If things go well for Lindy this season, we might see her role as Amy's assistant become even more important in Heartland season 18. As for Amy, she could be stepping into a new romance this season, so get ready for some love stories in the next one. Whether it's with a new love interest we haven't met yet, or continued her search if she doesn't find the one just yet, romance might be a big part of Amy's journey ahead. And this means there will be more controversies among the Heartland fans ahead. In case you didn't know, since Ty's death in season 14, Heartland has been on shaky ground with many fans still boycotting the show. Even though it was Graham Wardle's decision to leave, fans are upset that the producers didn't try harder to keep him on. After all, the love story between Amy and Ty was the heart of the series. Without Ty, Amy seemed incomplete, like half of a whole, at least at first. But after four seasons without him, to me, it's clear that Amy is doing just fine on her own. Sure, it's not the same as when Ty was around, but Amy proves she's the true leading character of the show. Her bond with the horses is still the main focus, and while Ty was an important part of her life, she's still thriving without him. Now it seems like the time has finally come for Amy to move on romantically and find a new love interest in the show. In the past few seasons, she's had some flirty moments, but none of them stuck. Season 18, however, might introduce someone who could really replace Ty, and this could spark some serious controversy among fans. Mark my words, the fandom will be split over Amy's love life. I've already seen it in my comment section. Some fans want Amy to be happy whether she has a new man or not while others feel like a new boyfriend would be disrespectful to Ty's memory. Personally, I lean toward the first group because I want to see Amy happy, even though I'm still upset that Wardle left so suddenly. But I'm dying to hear your thoughts about Amy's love life. Do you think she should find a new love this season? Or would you be mad if she replaced Ty? Don't worry, it's not just love that's in the air. There's also some financial drama brewing. With Bartlett Foods pulling out of their beef deal, the ranch will need to find new ways to keep the Heartland beef business thriving. Expect plenty of business talk and family drama. Honestly, it is always fun to see fictional characters getting into real-life problems. 
So it will be interesting to see our beloved characters discussing money on the show. If you are interested in more Heartland-related content, make sure to like and follow. See you in the next one.